Aero Machine Works provides a revolutionary electroplating metallizing process that will restore a part to like new with a stronger base metal than before. And we'll just be nickel plating that back up again to restore the dimension and uh, put it back in for longer use. All right, so this is the outer race of a thrust bearing. You can see it's tapered in the inside here. So the issue we had with this is that uh, in our the machine that this goes into, the outer race wore too much into the hold, the part that it was being held in and uh, started just spinning instead of actually rolling the way it's supposed to. So we ordered a new one and are nickel plating the outside of the outer race to increase the wear resistance and to uh, fill it in up to the uh, diameter that this old one wore into. So we can just replace the bearing, you know, the whole machine isn't scrap or the whole part of it isn't scrap. We can just uh, replace the bearing and change the size of it with uh, this bearing right here that I finished nickel plating. And you can see, you can, well, maybe kind of see the uh, slight color difference in the two, the, the recently nickel plated one and the previous one. So the reason that we're nickel plating a new bearing instead of just repairing the old one is because the actual inside of the bearing was the part that really got wore out and is uh, unusable now. But because of that uh, wearing into the part that it goes into, that's why we have to nickel plate the new one. But because of the nickel plating, the new one should last longer, fit the worn diameter of the part that it goes into. Peel off the masking tape around the area that nickel plated. Because at the very edge, the plating process forms a bit of a burr that you can kind of see right there. And we don't want that to be on the part, so. You can see, we just kind of get underneath it and pull it right off. Now this is uh, aluminum tape that the nickel is on. That's why it's coming off so easily. And since uh, aluminum is different than the steel, it won't really bond to it. It just kind of flakes off. However, it is bonded to the steel. As you can see you can't you know, pick up anything by picking at it with a razor blade. This is just some regular nylon tape or plastic tape to protect the part. Alright, so this is the area where that groove was worn in. The nickels uh, filled that all up and now it's ready to be taken over to the grinder to make this all one flush seal again. Alright, so here we have the area where the nickel plating filled in that groove that we machined out to fill up that uh, groove that the seal wore into the part. So you can see that the air sides right here are just flush with the with the original part. It just it was just ground down so we just kissed the space and actually it's not face. It was ground down so we just kissed this diameter here to keep everything concentric. And there's a very slight bump because the nickel and the part won't be perfectly concentric, but they're very close, plenty close for this uh, seal fit right here. 